Hello, um, I'm Kiefer, um, this is my first, well, not my first video, but my first video of origami. Today, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a origami bunny, just a face. I'll show you an example. Um, the example, and here's an example. It's just a bunny, just shot a face on it, so. Today I'll be making a yellow bunny. So for this, you need a square piece of paper, so I'm gonna convert um, printed paper into square, yellow. And you wanna use something you can mark with, like marker, or something, like a pencil. I'm using a Sharpie. Um. Actually, I lost my sharpie, so I just used a pen. Since I do not fold it again, this so I can do it on a flat surface and not make a hole in it. And here's my paper. Okay. So first, let me put it down. First. You wanna, you wanna put the top, if you're using printer paper, you wanna get the top, fold it down. Look, this is how you should do it. You top, fold it down, check up here to make sure that it's perfect. Make sure it's perfect like this. You just wanna pinch it. I did all when it looks perfect, so you can see that I pinched it up there, but the rest of it's not because it's just the top. So then you want to align right here was right right here. Align it and then make a crease. And we're we haven't even started making it. We're just trying to convert a square. And if you have scissors, you can just cut off the excess paper. But I don't have, I have scissors, but I'm gonna do complete use in paper. So I'm just gonna, if you wanna rip it, you wanna be really good. You wanna fold the excess paper up all the way until it stops where the square is gonna be made. So. Okay, so then you wanna make your you wanna make your creases sharp. Make your creases sharp so you just run your nail over a little time sometimes. I like doing it down sharp and run my nail like this. So you can just do that. And skip to the time right um there. It's a time if you already have square paper. And then I'll start showing you how to make the bunny. And then you want to unfold it, fold it backwards, and it should be easy because it's it's already been folded that way. You can fold it again. And after that, you want to open it up. And then on the fold you made right here, see right here, this is your fold right there. You at the top, you just want to rip it, make a little rip. You can see that little little rip I made right here. I don't know if you can see or not. It's just a little rip. And with the rest of it, just like put your hands on it and just like spread them out, holding them. Spread them out and keep on moving down. So now you have a perfect square sheet of paper. So after that, if you did convert in a square of printer paper into square paper, then you'll have a crease in the middle, and then you want to fold it on that crease, and then, I'm doing it upside down, but, so uh, you can see how I'm doing it, then you, this is how thick your ears are going to be, so I'm, my ears are going to be this thick, it's your choice, that thick, and then what you do next is fold it in half, 
So you want to align these points right here, and then just crease it, crease it, there, and then right here, fold both of them, fold both of them up. So I'm pretty much doing it down since it's upside down. Fold it up, and do it for the other side too. Okay, so there, there, so you pretty much, we're just making the face, we just have to do a few folds, this is front, a few folds to make it stay. So first on the back, this is the back, separating, you know, fold the bottom up, fold the bottom, the bottom up, just a little bit. Not all the way up, but a little bit, just like this. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and then on the front, you wanna take these. Not, don't take just. See, there's two flaps right here. Take both of them, not just one. Both of them, and fold them down to make sure. Just fold them down to make sure that they're even. We'll still just. Fold them down a little. And I didn't fold them all the way. You want to fold them all the way together, or you like to just have it apart a little. And pretty much finish your bunny. I'm just going to draw the face real quick. I'm just going to draw the face. I just want to draw a face. I'm just drawing these really cute eyes real quick. Smile. And I don't know, but if you go on my channel, if you go on my channel, you, I don't know, but I see it when I go on my own channel, it says my age. It says I'm 41. I just put that age so I can just be old enough just to you be logged in. I'm actually just nine. My birthday is in March 2012. And this, today was the last day of school. So, you have fun to see your button. And you can just outline your ears. Like this. I'll just show you. And outline your ears like this. So, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be showing you how to do a couple of things. I'll just show you a few stuff I'll be showing you how to make. Um, I'll be. Sh I'll show you how to make um a crane. And I'll show you how to make. Probably a jumping frog. I'll show you one. Cause I actually, um, I used to make, I used to make these awesome ninja stars. Haven't done them in a long time, and they're really nice. I can have double sided and double, double ninja stars that transform. And I have a huge circle ninja star. They can transform to a pointed, and then you have a connected one. So I'll show you how to do this too. But so I'll show you. The jumping frog. And this is the double transforming and start a small one double. So right here. The frog looks like this. And when you shift it back when you shift it back on this thing and you let go and it jumps. That's really cool. Like a true jump at the camera. So that's really cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you make it. I tried doing it real slow, so thanks. Bye.